All right, so we're gonna check out the east side of Sonoma today are kind of around the parameter of the plaza, but a little bit farther away, so we're not in the historic district as much. And I'm plucking out three neighborhoods that I think you'll really enjoy. So hang on here, and we'll explore more of the city of Sonoma. On every video, I do a tip for you at the end. So watch out for that. It's gonna be after the third neighborhood, coming up right here. Are you new to this channel and you wanna know what it's like to live, work, eat, and play in Sonoma? Well, this is a channel for you. I put out a new video every single Friday, so hit that subscribe button and you'll get all the new videos. This is Anita Anderson and I'm a local, and I get calls and texts and emails from people like you every single day wondering what it's like to live here. And I love sharing it with you. So hang out here on this channel and we'll have fun and you'll learn all all about the beautiful county of Sonoma and the city of Sonoma. Let's go to the first house. So we're gonna see a house on a great street. Now this street behind me, this is Spain Street and it runs to the plaza in Sonoma. And 347 East Spain Street's on the market this summer, 2022, right up here off the corner. And we're gonna go buy it. Right around the corner is Sebastiani Winery, right there. You can't see it right now, so I'm not gonna turn around. But anyway, we're gonna pass 347 East Spain and it is a completely brand new 1993 bedroom three bath just over 2100 square feet this is on the market today this summer for 2 million 895 really cute super set back right so it's quiet on one of the busier busier streets in Sonoma and um, you can see how cute it is from the pictures right it's really really lovely right next to it is an orchard and a garden and they're selling their apples and their tomatoes and their agaves and their pears. And I'm walking on walnuts because the walnuts are coming out. So um, anyway, cute little old house right here. And uh, that's what this neighborhood is. You can see the older homes. <clears throat> right there is Sebastiani Winery. And Buena Vista is out there and the other wineries that are very popular that people go to right like in 15 minutes you can get to the wineries so let's talk about getting to san francisco transportation traveling is some of the things you might be wondering about that uh getting to san francisco it's 50 minutes from here and if you're looking into your second house here you already know that it's a pretty easy uh, drive to San Francisco and, and a very pretty drive. So uh, getting to there from here is quite simple. Uh, I go to the airports, both San Francisco and Oakland, uh, by using this Sonoma County Airport or Express. I now Uber to Petaluma and then I get on the coach and it drops me right off at my terminal. Can't think of an easier way to get to an airport. Same amount of time as if I drove and got myself there just got to take the Sonoma County Airport or Express. It's awesome. And the Santa Rosa Airport or Sonoma County Airport is a Charles Schultz Airport is a half an hour away. I've flown out there many, many times and it's amazing. So uh, they have lots of flights and they're growing, like they're expanding their facilities. So um, there's a nice airport here in Sonoma County, not too far away. Now let's go take a tour of the neighborhood. So you're really gonna enjoy the drive around this neighborhood. It's on the cusp of the historic district and let's say homes that aren't really like turn of the century. 30s, 40s, 50s, uh, this is a 1951 we're gonna go look at, 780 to Austin Avenue. Lovely neighborhood. I went through this house. It is a 
two bedroom, one bath, just under 1,300 square feet. And uh, like I said, 1951. It's on the market this summer, 2022, for a million eight ninety five. It's super private. Uh, it has a private front gate. But if I get back here far enough, you can see it. It's right behind me. I went inside, it's super modern. And then across the street, you can see like a more traditional looking, uh, maybe that, that could be a 1950s, 40s house too. And uh, here's one that's getting all gussied up. A little paint job there. And then you have the cute pointy roofed house here. Very common in this neighborhood. And uh, so you can see 782 Austin. We'll walk around this neighborhood a little bit, but better yet, we're gonna enjoy a great drive. But while we're walking, I thought I would talk about um, the regional parks and getting outside. So the regional parks are really close by here, but one of the local parks is right up in the hills there. You can go walking up there, and if you get to the top, which takes like a half hour, you can see out to San Francisco. It's pretty neat. Uh, there's a great walking path through the whole city here in Sonoma. It takes a probably an hour and a half to walk from one end to the other. It's fantastic. And then where it ends, um, sometimes I walk another hour out into the vineyards and past the wineries. So getting outdoors here and walking, as you can see, there's lots of people biking and stuff around here. It's pretty great. Um, what else? Oh, people ask me all the time about, you know, how far away is Bodega Bay and Jenner and uh, the redwood trees and all that. An hour and a half, about an hour and 20 minutes. Sonoma, it takes it takes a good half hour to get up to Santa Rosa and then you have to cross over uh, to the Pacific Ocean. So uh, it's a little, uh, a little bit farther to get out there, but it's a great drive. You'll love it. And you can even go through Petaluma and out there or down um, into Inverness, into Marin County. So you're amongst all the beauty. It's right here. And who doesn't want a great day's drive uh, out to those places? And lastly, I wanted to touch on um, the farmer's markets here. If you're loving that whole scene, everybody does, right? They have a great summer uh, events at the plaza on Tuesday nights, which they, which they just call the market. And there's live music. So it has, it's farmer's market, but it's other things as well. And then Fridays, Friday mornings at the depot park. 10 minute walk from here is uh, the farmer's market. And it's great, it's small, but it's a really nice farmer's market. So you can kind of see the houses here. Thought I'd just kind of tootle along and give you a little look at them. Tudor style, right next to modern style, right next to 40s, it's been refurbished. It's a really cute neighborhood. All right, we are in one of my favorite areas of Sonoma. This is a big 1970s development and all the houses are pretty much one level, as you can kind of see, and we'll do a great drive through the neighborhood. One level and really huge, great, beautiful pride of ownership in this neighborhood. One great um, front lawn after another and landscaping and um, just nice houses and people have lived here a long time. For the most part, there's been some sales, of course. This is one of those neighborhoods if you're thinking of a second home because you're living in San Francisco or somewhere else and you really want Sonoma, this is one of those neighborhoods where that happens and um, where people come here to buy a second house. So I wanted to show you 789 Cordilleras, Cordilleras, am I saying that right? Cordilleras Drive. It is a two bedroom, three bedroom, two bath, just over 1700 square feet, super renovated, modern inside because they've redone the whole thing. Pull in the back as you can see on the screen. On the market today in the summer of 2022 for $2,250,000. Fantastic house. Look at that amazing lemon tree right there. So this is uh, showing off. You can see the one level houses. That's a private little driveway at the end of the street. So Cordilleras Drive is amazing, gorgeous houses and all throughout here. So um, I also wanted to tell you a little bit about the shopping. I mean, if you got to get out and just do stuff around town, there's, you know, McCullough's and Araldi's for men's shoes and Chico's and some nice boutiques around the, the, the plaza. 
if you need to do big girl shopping, Macy's and what have you, that's north of here, south of here in Santa Rosa or down in Marin County. Or you can venture off into San Francisco. No big box stores here in Sonoma at all. So no big box stores. You got your small town shopping here. Grocery stores, there's four of them here. And uh, of course the Sonoma market is the best one love Sonoma Market. So you've got great stuff. You've got outdoor fruit stands, farmer's markets on Friday night, Fridays, Friday mornings and Tuesday nights here. Um, just getting about town, this is a prime place. Schools, the elementary school is Prestwood, close by, and Santa Rosa High School. Santa Rosa. Sonoma High School. Don't kill me for that. Sonoma High School, Dragons, um, just up the way here. So uh, it's super close and very convenient, lovely neighborhood. Uh, you can see all the houses are quafted beautifully. And uh, it's just super nice to kind of wind through. Great parks close by here. And um, anyway, it's one of my favorite, favorite neighborhoods in Sonoma. Okay, so here's a tip I've been dying to say out loud. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so this is the tip. You know the Airbnb phenomenon came about 10 years ago. Could we say 15? Anyway, and it's awesome. I love entrepreneurship any day, anytime. It's amazing. There are some awkward and bad things that came out of it. And, and what came out of it here, let's just say in the city of Sonoma in particular, but there's three or four cities in the county of Sonoma County where, you know, wham, it, it, it got to be bad. And, and these were houses that became rentals out in neighborhoods, sometimes on the edge of town in beautiful uh, uh, maybe wineries or, or old roads where families have lived on them in a, a long time. And, and maybe the neighbors have been there for a few generations. And all of a sudden there's strangers coming up and down the, the driveway at midnight. You know, they just got off the plane at San Francisco and they're knocking on the door of some guy's ranch in the middle of the night looking for an Airbnb. There are endless sheriff stories of having to quell the wedding parties or just the young person from Silicon Valley parties up here in wine country uh, at somebody's house close enough to neighbors to where they were disturbed all night. So anyway, you have to get permits now and you have to know building code zones, Airbnb zones throughout the whole entire county. So if you're planning on buying an Airbnb, you need to make sure that it's exactly adheres to the zones. Because I heard these stories where people bought a house five, eight, nine years ago and they were gonna make it at Airbnb and they didn't look into the zone and they own a new house, but they can't make it a rental because it's like right in the middle of the city or it's somewhere where it just can't be. So you need to know stuff. You need to call city hall. You need to go on uh, the Sonoma, the city of Sonoma uh, uh, permit department website and call them. They answer their phone and uh, the county permit department too uh, answers their phone and answers all these questions. And there's a great map on that website, which I'll link below, uh, that um, shows you. There's like 10 colors. And uh, you kind of have to know, can I buy a house in this neighborhood, out on this road? And uh, what the permit fees are. There's a fee for if you live at the house and you're renting it out, and there's a different permit if you're gonna be an absentee owner. Which were really the situations that the sheriffs didn't like uh, when parties were going on at houses because the owner wasn't there. And uh, that's kind of tough when the sheriff comes to the house. Like how do they close the place down when the owner's down in Menlo Park? So anyway, all these situations happened. They weren't that fun for people. And um, just make sure about the zoning if you're planning on buying a rental property. Super duper important, especially if there's an HOA involved. Ooh, that's a whole other story. That's your tip for the day. 
So that was fun, right? I mean, you learned a little bit about a new neighborhood in Sonoma. If you're relocating or buying a second house or a first house, I have a great team of people that can help you, even if you're not moving for six months, 10 months, or a year away. We understand it takes a lot of filtering, a lot of thinking, and we can put perspective on the schools and the commuting and where things are and the things you kind of might want to know about the culture and the lifestyle that's what we do and we love to share it with you so to get a hold of us you hit that show more section right below the video and uh, if you're on a phone it's the little v over here hit that my con my contact information is there it's also on the screen but my contact information is always below every video in the show more section and we look forward to talking to you and helping you find a soft place to land here in Sonoma now the next video is coming up right there